morning from California. I have two journals to share with you. These are from my swaps with Elizabeth Johnson and um, Tanya from Scribbles in Time. And so I want to show those now from my point of view. I might not know all the little secrets. Well, Elizabeth doesn't have a YouTube channel. So um, I guess it'll be whatever I say. <laughs> we'll put that over here. Put this just, I'll put it right up here like this for right now. And this is Tanya's. I believe she called this uh, the Rose of D. And she has a whole story about it. Uh, okay, this is how this our swap came about. I bought this uh, 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 journal. And then she said, we started talking and we decided we would swap. So instead of me buying it, we I swapped. So I got this one. And then I made her another one. And I'll link the video below. So, and I'll link her video too. So you can see all the things she has to say about it, the, why the name, I think it's with a friend, a friend of hers, uh, things like that. So, but this is going to be from my point of view. So here's the journal is just, oh, it's just so wonderful. And uh, so this is the front. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I do a little tour around. I love this lace. Look at the lace. Oh, it's beautiful. And then here's the spine. Spine is gorgeous. I love how she, what she likes to do is take, um, she uses, she takes part books and then she uses the old, the spines and puts them on the back like of the spine. So I really love that. It's wonderful. And then the other side, Nellie Wartman style are these books. I took, um, I think it was, I don't know who turned me on to Nellie Wartman. I think I saw, I think I ran into Tanya somehow on Insta on YouTube and then uh, somehow Nelly I don't know somehow I got the two I got somehow I got the two figured out together and I don't know how that was but I took one of Nellie Wartman's classes and I'll I'll put her name below her Etsy shop is I think just Nellie Wartman and uh, so um, I love Nellie Wartman's style so uh, here we go it's like uh, here's a side all the loveliness that comes out Okay, so here's the front. I'm gonna sit down now. Uh, what I love about this, okay, this is a piece of uh, antique vintage jewelry. And it's very, you know, I love, the, what I love about our community, and I've said this before, we take things that are broken, discarded, or what have you, and then make them into something beautiful and give them a new life. So uh, what I love about this cover is this, how she took part of a, a frame and I used it in such a wonderful way. I like, it looks like she did some kind of a gold uh, wax or something on there to match the gold rose. Um, she's got a little bit of gold chain here. Uh, underneath there's tons of stuff, so I don't even know. There's a, I know this is a, uh, this looks like an old cabinet card. It seems like she's come across a lot of those uh, somehow. So I don't know, I know there's layers of book, of, of front pages from books. I love this. I asked her the other day, what was this? Cause I keep looking at it. I really love it. And she said it was a seal off of a wine bottle or something or off of wine. And I really love it. It looks like she put some kind of gold on here too. Uh, so I love that. I like, this might be one of the favorite things besides this on the front. <laughs> okay. So let's move over a bit like this and then inside look inside make sure we got the whole thing we do uh, she made a box to put this little uh, um, vacation book in here that she found and I think she had a date on it but I'm not sure what but I have to tell you something every time I look in uh, shops like you know thrift stores or what what have you antique stores or markets when I find things like this, I get sad. I think, where was, where? It's beautiful. I love it. I love the feel of it. It's leather, I think. It feels like a leather sort of stitched together. It's in great quality. I don't think you find souvenirs like this anymore. Uh, but what I love about it is, you know, I look at it and I think, I always get sad looking at the pictures thinking, well, is there no family? I suppose it's possible there's no family left to know that these were around. Um, try not to get too glary for you. There you go. They're just really cute pictures. Look how small they are. I mean, the, these are really small. This is my finger. 
super small because in the back they have some um they're not it's not filled up all the way but in the back they have a little bit bigger size here this is probably like two by three maybe so these are teeny tiny this is like the kind you would use to get in the yearbook it was yearbook size or even smaller than those ones you get in the machines where you take a picture and they print them out look at it i love look at how it's all look at how this how it's all look how the picture is all cut like that man these are the those were the days right and the back here there's some one big one this is probably going to be what three by four or something not five i don't think i think this whole thing would be five but anyway this was in here and i always think like i said i go into stores like this baby right here stuck in here i think whose baby is this don't they don't they want to remember um but i suppose you know my mom died about 20 years ago here and she had a box of pictures and i you know obviously i kept them but you get you know a few more years down the line and no one knows those people you know my even my children my grandchildren don't know about grandma marlene much they don't they wouldn't see a picture of her and know who she was i mean so i guess they just get tossed i don't know maybe they feel bad about throwing them away and they just send them to thrift stores i don't know but it interests me it has always interested me that thought but and plus they probably didn't get have too many pictures because when you think back to the old days even in my era <laughs> of black and white and pictures like this as I might have a baby picture like this. I know my husband does similar, like that thickness and stuff. Um, back in those days, you couldn't take a bunch of pictures and decide, like right now I do birding in my yard. I can take like 500 pictures in one minute and they're all the same. We'll just figure out which one I want to keep. But in those days, you take a picture, you had to pay for the film, camp, the, the film, the, the, the roll of film. I don't know what they used to call it, roll of film. For the camera and they usually had what 12 pictures on it or so and uh well this one was professionally done but you know and you didn't know what you were going to get you couldn't review them you had to get them developed you had to pay to have them developed you had to pay to buy the film and uh then you could have a whole thing of pictures that was throwaway <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like it was hard to take pictures in those days so i don't know but anyway that's my rant um right here is she put a she does little layers of fabric i love that so much um i just love it and then here she's she she's she paper tip clipped down a, a little piece of of uh lace so pretty and then she has this it's not an antique but it's so listen it looks so beautiful in this spread look at this page spread and then she put a little uh, pocket watch in here. And it does work, I guess, she said. But um, I would never take it out. But it looks so gorgeous, right? Oh, I forgot to mention she puts little pencils in here. Look, she made a little, it's a hard area. And uh, then a little pencil for writing or drawing, sketching, what have you. Okay, so this is all rusted. It feels like metal or something similar to metal. Like, it's all rusted grime and stuff and then um i think it's a gasket of some kind for a car or something but then there's all these little um bits of buttons and old buttons and another old button i think i turned her on to perfume buttons and she put one in here i'll show you in a minute down the line but this 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 spread is just amazingly beautiful i love it okay so then here so now since she didn't really make this for like she, like I said, I bought it, I wanted to buy it from her shop and we decided to trade. So um, I think if she made one for me, it would be, uh, she'd do it, try a little bit more personal. But I love this. I could write something on here or put something on here or sketch something. So I really like that. I love this, this little piece here. And then, um, then this, here's a perfume button right here. And uh, I've talked about perfume buttons over and over and over again. So just look up. Civil War perfume buttons and you'll get a story about them but I love it and I I offered to take it off I told her to take it off and I put my own on there but she said no what goes with the book so um I sent her some back in with in my kit because you know perfume buttons are not cheap and so you know I wanted to have her some more in her stash so these are lots of places where I can put something it's I wish you could feel it it's been 
Um, she's done mixed media on it. I really like it. Uh, ink and paint and what have you. I can, it's just really tactile. And then she look here. She used the clothing tab. What a great idea, right? For a for a tab here. Um, I love the little. I love the little hints you get when you swap journals, or you buy someone else's journal. It's funny because. I, th I don't like my journals at all that I make. I don't think they're up to par, but everyone seems to like them. And so I buy a, someone else's journal and then they think they're not equal to mine. Like this next one, like she says, it's not equal, you know, she feels bad. But I think they're gorgeous and they're way better than mine. So I think that's just part of creating. Sometimes you feel like your things, in your eyes, your things are elementary or something. But I love this very much other side of that paper um look at this gorgeous gold thing and she might say in her it's 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 like a it's like metal and she might say in her video what it is but i don't know um, more stuff i love it um, so beautiful so this is Banbird lake lace i think they call it i noticed on my videos when i listen to them back to make sure everything's okay i have really um uh, my words slur a lot. That's a bummer. That's from MS damage in my brain. I can't believe it, but I try and talk better. This is Battenberg lace, I believe. Very pretty. Look at, I just, I really think I'm going to do something in here. I just don't know what, because I don't want to destroy uh, the whole look, but I might, I want to probably do something in here. But right now it's just on the shelf and I look at it for its beauty. I love all the elements that she's put on here. Um, this is an old piece of jewelry. I never would think of doing this. In fact, oh la, it was an earring. So she did here. She put earring. She put a, a button over it to make it more secure. Like this looks like a uh, coat button or or a upholstery button or something like that. So that's cute. Well, that earring. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> um, look, I love this. Another one. No, no family wanted to keep this poor little lady. Oh, makes me sad. She's in here forever, whoever she is. Maybe I'll make up a story about her. Maybe in this book I could write down what I think the story of these people are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm weird. The backside of the lace. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love the tactileness of this. She's got a beautiful, I, I forgot to look down here, a beautiful um, glass chandelier. And, and I forgot over here. This I love these because these right here, these these are written from her grandfather's um, fishing box, and I love it just because of this thing right here. It's uh, if it's wooden, it's really um, like balsa wood or something because it's really light. And then uh, some rusty bits. I love love love. Okay, I, I passed that up. That was bad, bad, bad. I love this guy. It's perfect for this. And then we went, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Okay. Um, I noticed too, this is rusted. I love this. And I bought some of these. And this is a great idea to use them. Uh, um, the interesting thing is, I'm finding, is that lately, and I saw it from one of her journals here, um, they're using those things. You know those connectors that would be on garter belts and it would hold up, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Us older ladies remember this. They had, uh, they used to have nylons or, do they call them nylons? I think they did. Yes, nylons. And they, they weren't, you had to pull them up and they were attached with a um, garter belt thing. I noticed that I've seen in some uh, journals that some people have used those for decorations or to clip for clippy things in their journal. And I thought, oh, that's so great. I love that idea. So, you know, and then I put this here. Um, she had it clipped on somewhere, but the paper broke. So I just went ahead and put it on here. It doesn't, doesn't matter, but it, um, I just took it off of the little ribbon thing it was on. Well, you know, see, I get, this is what happens to me. I get obsessed to get these all straight. And we're not going to be that way, Pam. It's right on there. <laughs> okay. So here's the page here. And I love this page. And then she put the, gave me this little, um, a little bag of goodies pretty pretty goodies love goodies so a coin can't tell from this I'm gonna have to look closer to see who it is but it looks sort of the writing looks real interesting there almost looks like Hebrew writing maybe it's a Jewish 
I have to look up what it is, but there's a coin there. What did I do? I dropped something. There's a little star, paper star that's all folded, pretty pretty. And this is a seed pod with potty things in there, pod things, and then a little vial here. So that was cute in here. I could, I, you know, I kind of want to encourage myself to make up a little story about this book, you know, in there, like whatever. I could make it about D. <laughs> Uh, this, as she said, this was a uh, cigar box um, seal or something. So that's cool. This is the other side of that uh, thing. And look at her stamp. It's so cool. It's a tree. I love that. Very much so. Scribbles in Time from Tanya. And it has her last name, Ferguson, Scribbles in Time. Very nice, right? And more, more bits here that fold over. This looks like it matches this right here. So very nice, I love this book. It sits out one of my tables and I just love it. I love all the ideas. I love that everything pokes out, just beautiful. So great work, Tanya, I love it. Uh, and I'm very excited about it. I'm happy to share it. And guys, you guys should all subscribe to her because she's got a great channel. Okay, so there's that one. We will put this one over here now as we speak about this one. So this one is my swap with Elizabeth. I'm going to write down, you know, I had the paper here with some of her info on it. And I know, of course, it's probably not here now. I think she has a blog site. Now, don't, I'm going to put it, I'm going to list it below. But I think it's called the per, per, <laughs> Perplexed Lizard, I think. But I'll put it down below. Uh, but this is her swap with me. And I love it. I think um, I took some things out and I should put it back in. I, I did this video twice is the problem. So, uh, well, you know, this is me. Oh, well, she has several of these in here. I got to figure that out. So she, I noticed on her site, she does, um, she likes to do repurposed books. So if you see here, this feels like it's been painted. It could be, fa yeah, it looks like it's paint. She did some painted fabric over it, but it feels really great. I love how it feels. And then um, I love the top here. This is embossed or something here. Embossed. I love the flower. I love the dragonfly because we, we've turned our pool into a pond, as a lot of you know. And uh, moving this over here to open it. And we have been having a lot of dragonflies. I've, got, I've caught two kinds of dragonflies laying eggs in different ways, which are, is, was interesting to me. Okay, so here we go. And she had no way of knowing that, I don't think. Okay, I want to see how far. I have to go over here because of the thing. So this is good. We'll go here. Here we go. Here we go. This is hers. Oh, I love it. What I want to say, she lives in Canada. And what I want to say about, about her, her journal here, what I like about it is, is that there's all kinds of papers and things I've never seen. And I love that when I get a journal and I have it, I haven't seen everything before, you know, like all the Tim Holtz and stuff. I, I mean, I like Tim Holtz, don't get me wrong, but I love seeing things that are different that not everyone uses. So I love these cards right here. And, um, and, and this guy, you can see through it. You can't really tell here. I don't know if you can, you can see through him a little bit. He's like, I don't know what he's on, but I really like that. This journal, I think I will definitely use, but I don't know what the purpose will be for yet. Because that's how I am. Um, I met her from one of Johnny's, from Johnny's Life Sales, Johnny at the Junk Journal Shop, and I will put her name below. And um, I met her from there, and we decided to do a swap. And uh, so I'm really happy with this, very excited. So here we go. Um, look. Oh, I love this. It's like on vellum. It's, um, uh, it's a dried uh, fern. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably from her yard or something, her, her own life, from her life, <laughs> from her yard or her life or something. Okay. I love these, see, I love how these look. I love the purpley color. This must be, I don't know what kind, is it a plum? I guess it must be a plum. I don't know, you guys, you're probably all yelling what it is at me. I love this so much. It looks almost like it was painted has tally table number oh huh what's beautiful this i love this uh foil here B 
beautiful eco printing right there. This feels like a genuine or like maybe not the turn of the century, but maybe the 60s, but not, you know, it's I like how aged it is. And it's a, a from the Sears catalog type thing. Uh, what's so funny about this is I've always wanted to go to Newfoundland and I doubt I ever will just because of our health and stuff, but I really wish I could go there. There's a bird there I want to see. Uh, I think it's called the American Woodcock. <laughs> so I, I've always wanted to see that bird. Okay, so I love this. I have always wanted one of these. I know there must be a place to get them. I don't know where. I've noticed a lot of people have used them in different printing and things, uh, but I love this. And then we have a, um, this is, stand, this is a, these are seeds. And I'm wondering uh, if you watch this, if, if these are real, if seeds in here can be planted, because I kind of want to plant seeds, autumn 1903. So I'd like to know that. Can I plant these? <laughs> I like how she did this. Trying to see if it's a napkin. If it's a napkin, it's really feels interesting. It feels like there's a wax on top of it. Oh, it flips out. Duh, Pam, it flips out. Um, but look how she did. What, however she did it, they, they match up perfectly there. I like that very much. Okay, so Elizabeth, if you know, is this, can I plant this? <laughs> okay, here we go. Look, I'm only on the second page. These pages all feel very interesting to me, so maybe it's a type of paper, but I don't know. I really like it. I love her tabs. I love this little guy down here. So cute. Okay, so we have a little packet of goodies here. Oh, I think it goes like this. So I took this one off before. And this is a fun little packet of goodies. Just fun stuff. Lots of fun stamps. Let's go like this. Put him here. We're going to put it back on after fun. Look at these stamps. They're beautiful. In fact, I think I'm going to use that in something right now. I know what I want to do with that. Pretty, pretty. Now, this might have been, she might have sent me this with the journal as an extra, you know, little goodies. More stamps, look. But, um, I might, I, it's been a little while and I might have just put it in the journal to remember. I love that. Now, isn't this interesting? Most of the coin envelopes I've seen are much bigger. So this would be cute. You could put a little bitty flower in there, which I think I will do at some point. Flowers. Oh, look at that cute little index thing. That's a dorb. Dorbs. That's a dorbs. <laughs> and another one of these really nice. I love this art, whatever it is. And right there. So we're going to go like that and a pen. And she's the one that said she didn't think hers was as, as good as mine. And I think mine wasn't as good as hers. It's so funny how it is, right? She has so many ideas I've never seen. Like this idea here. I love this. You can't take it out. It looks like she's glued it. She put the pin through. And then it's, I think it's glued down because, well, I don't want to take it out. Oh, I might be able to take it out. But what this is, it's so those double, um, circular double things that you put... You could put a, you know, something stuck in there. That's where she put this. I really like that. And this is um, down there with that. That's so cute. This is a cute idea. Great idea. <laughs> Music. Pretty flowers. This is probably um, it's clipped on here. I'm going to have to put all these back. I don't know if I can remember where they went, but we'll put them all back. Oh, bro bone crochet hooks. I tried to crochet once, and um, I think I did a pair of booties, but I've forgotten now how to do it. Look at that. Oh, steel and bone. That's cool. Okay, so put that back in a minute. This looks like one of Johnny's things. I don't know, but from one of her auctions. Um, I love this. I love the belly band, and I love the, look at this card. Looks Dutch or Dutch. Francesca, made in France. Reproduction. Um, doesn't say. Kind of reminds me of the Dutch girls or something. But this I love. Uh, this is probably from Sunday school because they used to give these out, especially on Easter. 
like little bookmark thingies because I have one I got myself somewhere in my mess in here but so that I bet that came from my Sunday school super cute look at the she did the signatures other side of that this is a uh, what's that paper called <laughs> you know I used to oh I could say it like this and I keep forgetting what kind of paper that is but with the fat with the planties in there I like that oh I love this look at that I love how she made it all so pretty and purpley I think that's her theme oh, here, like that. there we go I like how she put this on here just sort of a um, like you're not going to go like this you're going to put it like that pretty cute um, the back of that some I bet that's some of the fake uh, masking uh, tape not masking um, fake old age tape so I mean weird words come to my mind I love this she knows I love birds so and look at this guys ready for this uh <laughs> not just that one thing that folds down but it goes like this some kind of origami thing that's super cute there's a little pocket here with a really cool cool flowers this side it's so good bee balm but look it doesn't come to california neither does this one california doesn't have the good stuff the good plants and stuff kind of a bummer <laughs> pretty a thistle and a common dandelion I think you could eat dandelions if anybody wants to know <laughs> if you ever get you know you need food oh look at that so pretty the eco, eco eco printed I want to say dye but it's printed look at the cute look oh yes look at this now watch this guys this opens like this and inside look so cute she had something up on here too and i took it off because i in the last video i have to find it but uh, isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw super cute 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 and this is i receipt. it appears to be super cute I don't know if we can put that back this looks out so cute like this cute and i love that's all i say Need to get a better vocabulary. This is the bag. So she didn't cut it and make two out of it. She just you know, has a place to write here and a place to write here. So I like that. Inside now, I love this is an Israeli. Uh, I wonder if it's like a first day of issue, but I love the eagle. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Eagle. And I love Israel as well. So I kind of like that very much, very much. She didn't know any of that about me. And here's a little thing we can write on. Pretty, pretty. So this this journal has such um, potential for me to do a lot of fun things in there. So I really love that about it, Elizabeth. Looks oh, so pretty. I like all the the way. See, I've never seen anything like this, and I love the photo. It's probably goldenrod dahlia. And, huh, love that. Love this. Never seen that paper before. Oh, look, I love this right here. Little dainty lace. And then she, this is the same size as it. So that's kind of cute how she did that. And I'm, I'm really uh, becoming interested in new sewing techniques and stuff. So I kind of like that. It's, that's cool. She doesn't know, she didn't know that either. So in here, I like that what she did here was she put the whale's tail backwards. So that was very interesting. And then um, this is a little place we can write. And I thought it went, yeah, it goes under there. And then look at this little teeny, teeny thing where she has some really pretty stamps. Look, what the cutest thing ever, right? Look at that. That's adorable. Okay, let's see. This is 
old oak tree. It's pretty. I love these kind of drawings in the in the books. Now this is, however this is dyed, it's pretty because it's green, like a light green. This looks almost like handwriting. I don't know if it's, i um, not sure if it's printed or not, but I like it. And then I love this. I saw this in one of Johnny's books that she just made, and I thought, oh, that's amazing. I love that. So cute, right? So I'm happy to own something like that very much. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and the trees. Water crowfoot. I'm I really I'm really enjoying this, Elizabeth, very much so. No, oh, little, little little elephants. Looks like the Dumbo era when Dumbo came out. Like, so that, what was that? Long time ago. <laughs> the real, the, the first cartoon one. Probably banned it by now. The Cocker, Cocker Spanish. Co the little Cocker Spanish girl. That's from a Disney movie. I don't know. Too many grandkids. That's what happened. You watched a lot of Disney. Oh, she, she did the bag again here. I really like this idea. Oh, see another picture. Who was this girl and what happened? Why does nobody own it? She reminds me of Lizzie Borden though. <laughs> She's the one that killed those people. Oh, just, a, just a joke. <laughs> I love the birdies. I love this here and I love, I love these cigarette cards. Oh, that's what I took out the cigarette cards from before. She had the greatest cigarette cards and I had, I took them out when I filmed before and I have to show you a oh, really cool card. I like how it's aged. I like that it has a flower on it. Well, I'm going to have to find those now to show everybody. It should be right here. I love these safety pins. Just so different. Look. So most of the cigarette cards I find or I buy are birds or flowers or bugs. And so this is a really cool one. I've never seen this kind before. Necklace of charms. Oh, necklace of charms. A fish, whatever this is, and this person. I, I know it's something. I just don't remember what. Okay, so super cute. Uh, the idea of Wendy here at... Wendy's Journal Adventure. Can we get it in there? Yes. Super cute. That's a tuck here this for this other stuff. I got to find it over here so you don't... So she doesn't go, wait a minute, I put a lot of other cute stuff in there. You did. You sure did. I just got to find them. Oh, Pam. Oh, what's it called? Why well, can't I remember the name of this? Don't yell at me. I can hear you all yelling at me. Look at that. It's pretty, pretty. I love all the way the different sizes are. I just love how it's put together. Really, really do. I love, love, love. <laughs> and uh, she put, she personalized it for me with pretty birdies. Another one. Look. What? <laughs> I love that. I think that's more favorite than the other kind that just opens the one way. So there's so much interesting things. Pink or purple and green are very nice together. The funny thing is very evil villainy and the thing is is that I always love the villains anything I watch <laughs> I'm a villain girl oh so here's a bunch of them so here's um this the ones I'm talking about so this is a harvesting of the isle of I'm sorry I gotta move it Aaron 
So super cute, right? And then this one is, oh, like, yeah, they, they, they caught this and it says a devil fish that they caught in. Do you know what a devil fish is? And it tells you right here, super cute. And this too, look at this, really nice, I love it. A lofa, is that how you say it? Do you know what a low, excuse me, I have to bring it up, lofa is, no. Looks like a cucumber to me, kind of big, or a zucchini. <laughs> and then she, this here, very beautiful, very fun. Oh, here, so this is what I took out that I have to put back in. Well, at least I didn't lose it all. So this is a um, a really cute receipt, yes, a receipt. And then she put some real fun stamps here. Another one of these from the, uh, the wheat fields of Essex. Um, a, a book thing of library cardy thing. Another piece of paper here that has number numbers. Another really cool um, receipt. A nice lady, isn't she pretty? And I think she goes, she was in here, if I believe correctly, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, it might be in the other room. The other room, the other page. <laughs> I think it might be, if I could remember, it was one that was sort of, well, I'm gonna have to put it in my own spot because I don't really remember everything, do I? No. But these are things, these are all her things here. And there's a lot of, there's several of these clips. And I want to use this one right now somewhere. I have an idea for that. So these are the two journals from the swap. I love them both ladies. Um, I'm very thankful. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll put everything in the box below about these, sh about these girls. Thanks, bye.